Hello everyone, Scott Smith here with Aspen Avionics coming to you from 5,000 feet. Uh, I've got the E5 here, I wanted to go over how we present the uh, same information as an HSI. We just do it in a little different manner. Uh, we're getting a lot of questions on that and I uh, wanted to kind of cover that for you today. So if you look here, you've got a slave compass just like on your HSI. You've got your coarse needle right here, green coarse needle, and then your lateral deviation indicator is right here or course deviation indicator is right here at the bottom so there there's that information that we're getting a lot of uh, questions on uh, which is presented to you right at the bottom half of the screen as far as when you're shooting an approach you're going to get glide slope up here which I've shown in uh, previous videos and localizer right across here which is really nice from the final approach fix to miss approach point everything you need for that approach is right here in the top part of the screen now, where we go above and beyond is we give you a digital readout here of what your actual course is. What is my course? Well, it's 120. And the A beside, beside the uh, course means it is auto course. So it's automatically going to set your course based off of whatever is in your GPS. So for point A to point B, navigation, uh, that, that course automatically switches as you go down your flight plan, automatically sets in there for you. So you don't have to reach up here and dial in dial in the course, which is really nice. Uh, over here, we've actually got a digital readout. What's my current heading? So my current heading is 130, right? My heading bug is set to 131. If I want to change my heading bug, I just reach over here, and I can dial in whatever heading I want and turn in the heading bug. And also notice that we give you a little dash line out from the aircraft symbol to the heading bug, so it's easy to identify where that is. If I hold in on the heading bug knob, it syncs up to your current heading. Really useful feature there. Now you come over here on the side, we also have GPSS built in. I've covered that before, but having GPSS built in right there, so it's a soft key. So you just activate, deactivate GPSS by a simple press of that soft key. And you also get the indicator up here that uh, you're in GPSS mode. All right, for more information, please join us at uh, aspenavionics.com. You can also uh, shoot us an email or feel free to call us. We'd love to talk, talk to you. Thanks for joining us today. Have a good one.